Welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Red Rescue Team. The last part we got through here with little effort whatsoever. And that what I just played there was... Let me get something out of Muller 3, I'm not really sure. Because I kind of lent it by you there. Anyway, let's continue. Keep going. Frosty Grotto. Oh no, it's snowing! This cannot be! Uh oh. Oh no! Leave me alone. I don't like you. Why does this place have Rhyhorn? Why? Oh wait. No metal for this? Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Dude! There we go. Yay, I'm finally level 20! Finally, some decent attack stats. For once. What is with the way I talk, man? Speak more clearer. Speak normal! Or speak in weird voices. Just don't speak in the weird voice that just doesn't suit it at all. Speak normal now. I don't know how to speak normal viewers. Well, I do, but not in this LP, of course. And when I'm like talking to people, I usually just barely hearable. Kind of like that video earlier. Which is why I'm trying to speak louder. That was slightly painful and mildly annoying. Get out of my way. Let's throw a rock at Rhyhorn. Let's see if that'll work. Oh, it did. Shocking. Metal Claw is actually coming in handy around this point of the game. I was right when I said it would be useful at some point. I'm not sure if I said that while recording or while I was not recording. I can't remember. I would have... Where are we anyway, exactly? We scale in a mountain? No, we're going through some forest or something, weren't we? Yeah, some forest. That's why there is no peak or summit or anything like that. Prepare to burn. Why don't you forget and it's right there. These guys stand no chance against me. I have the weakness of ground and steel Pokemon. And ice Pokemon. All sorted out so they have no chance. But from water Pokemon, if I encounter them, I'm kind of screwed. I was half expecting a water Pokemon to just come out of the corner there. I still can't get used to these damn controls. Oh yeah, I also realized the reason I can't get him to turn around is because this is a Game Boy Advance version. The DS version is the one where you can turn around. Shame, really. It was a useful control. Makes things more complicated this way. Eat it! Eat every gummy you come across. Uh oh. This could be trouble. Gonna have to burn him. Wow! For a not very effective attack, that should did a lot of damage. I keep doing that! Gotta learn that's right at the top. Hey, we reached the summit or something? I don't know. Where are we? We should have traveled far into this forest. I think we'll be out if we can get through this part. It shouldn't be far. Let's keep going. Huh? Michael, did we just say something? No. I didn't think so. 
I thought I heard a voice. I must have imagined it. Turn back. You may not pass. Who, who's there? You are forbidden to pass. If you persist in trying to pass, then so be it. But only after you have defeated me. Ah! It's too bright! Damn it! The ice around us is reflecting this light. Oh no! I am Articuno, the Warder of Ice. Those that enter the forest, I shall destroy with all my might. Let us begin. Oh, when we don't have revive seeds. Damn it! What can we do? 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 Just throw a rock at him. Hope for the best. Damn it! <laughs> no! He's gonna completely kill us! <laughs> Oh, like he really needed more agility, you bastard. Burn him! Pikachu, you fool! Use some decent attacks, come on! Oh! Damn! That hurt! Get away from Pikachu now. Pikachu, no! Oh, it missed. It's my last Ember attack. Come on, we can do this. We still have a chance, right? Super effective. Yes! We defeated Articuno! First try! First try! P please, Articuno! We have to get through no matter what it takes. Please, let us pass. No! I cannot allow your passage! Stubborn little bastard, aren't you? Why? Why can't we pass? The frigid forest's air. It has warmed considerably in recent times. Warmed up? I'm still freezing, but... The flow of frigid air has been disturbed in the forest. Snow has started to melt. Snow is melting. Snow that has never melted before. This has never happened even once. Then you appeared in the forest. Is this not your doing? Oh, we don't have anything to do with that. It's a coincidence. Please, Articuno, hear me out. It isn't our fault that the snow started melting here. It's not just here. Natural calamities are taking place everywhere right now. The forest frigid airflow would have been disturbed even if we hadn't come. Is that all? You expect me to believe that? Why? Enough of your foolish talk. Prepare for your end. Stop it! Uh, Absol! There is nothing false in what they said. Calamities are indeed occurring in nature everywhere. I is that true? Yes. I have the ability to sense natural disasters. The calamities taking place now are of a special nature. I've never experienced such before. So. There are calamities besides this. Fine. I will choose to believe you. You may pass. Articuno! However... What? You must try to prevent the calamities from spreading. I'm counting on you. Yep, we promise, Articuno. Whew. That was too close. Thank you. 
You saved us. Rather than saying thanks, focus on stopping the calamities before they worsen. If they are left unchecked, worse will befall us. My instinct warns me so. Uh, I sense the terrible power of the natural calamities. I was led here by my feelings of foreboding. I think it would be best if we combined forces. I will join you. Huh? You will? Really? Really. To put an end to the calamities, cooperation is vital. Let me lend you my powers. Thank you, Absol! Yay! New party members! We won't give him a nickname, though, shall we? Let's think. Um. Think, think, think. Whatever it lands on, okay? It landed on no. And so, after getting through the frosty forest, Michael's team headed for the north. The more they advanced, the harsher the conditions became. Would you like to save your adventure? No, you say failed. Anyway, that'll do, viewers, that'll do. See you next time.